Okay, so there's a few things that have come up that I want to show you. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. I'm going to open my assignment that's on the 15th, and I'm going to open it all the way up like we always do. You'll notice the directions are a little bit different, maybe, than you saw yesterday. See how short they are? Okay. From now on, I'm going to put all of the important instructions on the sheet that you open instead of right here. Okay. Right here is just going to be very generic. Look, open instructions, follow instructions, submit your assignment. Okay. That doesn't give you too much detail, does it? Okay. So you always have to click on the document. Okay. So here's your instruction sheet. You should be keeping this open the entire time you're working on your project. Okay. Because remember, we went over this and you saw what all this was. Okay. Here are the specific directions now. Okay. Click each topic, complete each lesson, assemble them all into a Google Slides, and then submit the slides file. So let's go through each one real quick, and I'll tell you the things that are coming up for people, okay? Let's start with plan your meal. What are we using to plan your meal? I didn't hear you. What? Amazon. We're shopping on Amazon, and we're using what app? Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Very good. So you were supposed to open the template to ma and make a copy, okay? And you name your document Meal Budget. And then these are the things you have to have, and you can add more if you have left. How much do you have to spend? $150, okay? So I'm going to go and open mine real quick to show you uh, a couple of reminders that people keep on asking me about because it's been a few weeks since we did our Google Sheets, okay? So I'm going to show you a couple of things. Sorry, I should have gone to Google Sheets. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to give you a couple of reminders of how to make your sheet work for you. Okay, what kinds? Of, how many of you remembered how to make your sheet work for you? How to make your sheet add or multiply? Okay, well let's see. All right, sample meal budget. I'll remind you of two things and then we'll go on to the next thing. Okay, first of all, what do you want all of these things doing here? All of this this side right here. You want them all to what? to add up. And what do we call the answer to an addition problem? Sum. A sum. Very good. So, wow, of course while I'm recording is when it's going to work really slow. Let me zoom out just a bit. Okay, so if we want all of these right here, you got to tell the computer what you want it to add, right? Should we have included this cell up here? No. No, it doesn't have a number in it, okay? Only these cells right here, okay? So I've chosen all the things I want it to add, right? And I'm going to come up here. If you don't see it here, you press your little three dots. It's this little symbol right here. It says functions on it. Okay. So I am going to click on it. And you said it's a sum, right? Well, it happens to just be right there because it's one that most people use often. So you don't have to go search for it. There it is. I'm going to click sum. And look how it put the formula right there for me. All I have to do is press return now. And now it's doing what I want it to. What do we want these to do? Multiply. So what is the answer to a multiplication product. problem? A product. So let's tell it, hey, Google Sheets, I want you to multiply this times this. Okay? And we're going to go here again. This time it's not there. You have to go look for it under math. And, F and math, you look for what? Product. product. There it is. So you're telling it, I want the product of this and this. And it put the formula for you there. Press return. Now it's doing it. Now, you could go and do that for each one of these, but the quick way is, once you've done it there, if you just grab, if you select it and grab this little square right here and go all the way down as far as you want it to do that, it'll do it for you for the rest of them, okay? So those are just a couple of reminders for that. When you're done with this, you take a screenshot and you'll put it in your final presentation, okay? All right, next, uh, let's go back to our Thanksgiving project. Okay, design an invitation. I am going to show you a couple, um, I, I mean, this is going to be a quick Google Draw lesson because we're going to do a whole lot more with it when we come back, okay? The only t way to get to Google Drawings is through Google Drive. It's not in your waffle menu here. You won't find it, okay? So we're going to go to Google Drive, click New, click More, and click Google Drawings, okay? I am going to show you how to do some very basic things so that you know kind of what to do to create your invitation, okay? First of all, uh, the question that's come up a lot, how do I change the background, right? Because right now it has no background, okay? Well, here, here's an easy way, okay? If you just two-finger click on it and come up with this menu, there's a background, and look, change it to whatever color you want, okay? If you want an image in your background, you're going to have to go insert image and go upload it or search the web for it or whatever, okay, and put it there, okay? 
the next thing you're going to have to have on an invitation is what? Huh? Words, right? Words. Okay, the simple way is to go insert text box and draw it where you want it, right? Let's say at the top we're going to write, you're invited, okay? And then obviously you can go and highlight it and make it what? Make it bigger. Um, you can change the font. You can do all kinds of stuff, right? But there's another thing called word art. And it's a, the reason they call it word art is because it's the same thing. It's text, but you can do more things with it and make it a little fancier. So the same way, insert, you're going to click word art instead of text box and type in what you want it to say. You're invited, okay? And it automatically just comes up like that. Now, already it looks kind of cool, right? It doesn't look so plain, but there's so many things you can do, okay? Once it's selected like this, you can come up here. You can change its color. You can decide what color you want it to be, okay? You can also change the outline around the letters. Right now, it's black. If you say, no, I want it to be, I don't know, blue, well, that will that won't work. Red, okay, or whatever. You're like, well, I don't really see it. Well, let's go change the border to a little bit thicker, like eight. Oh, wow, now I see it, right? So here's the, how thick you want that border to be, okay? So you can make it whatever you want. I know it's ugly, but I'm just messing with it, okay? There's other things you can do. If it is selected, you can change the font, okay? You can change bold, italic. There's all kinds of things. But the power comes over here under format options, okay? This is where you can do things like a drop shadow, okay? Watch this drop shadow as I go. Let's see, I want to change the distance to a little further. Do you see that shadow? Okay. You can do it further if you want like that. It depends on how far you want the drop shadow. You can change the angle of it. You can do all kinds of things with your drop shadow, okay? Then you can do a reflection if you want. That means, do you see the reflection underneath? Like it's looking into a, into a lake or a pond. You see how it, more and more? So there's all kinds of things you can do with word art, okay? So those, and then the last thing I'll show you about Google Draw, I'm just going to get rid of this stuff for now, is shapes. You can, you can make so many things with simple shapes, okay? Let's say I want to do a circle. Let's say I want to make a snowman, okay? I'm going to make that one, okay? And then what I'll probably do is just Command C, Command V, and it'll make another one for me. I'll put it here and make it a little what? Oh, a little bit smaller. Very good, okay? And then depends on if I want two or one. If I want another one, Command C, Command V. I'll bring that one up here and make it just a little bit what? Smaller, and I can do all kinds of things with shapes, okay? That's all I'm going to show you about Google Draw today. It should get you by with making a, an invitation. Okay, Remember to put images, insert image. Okay, Title it up here and you'll be good. All right. Now, uh, forms, I, I've got nothing to tell you about forms. You guys got it. Okay, Thankful video, there, this is a big thing i got to show you. Okay, And I updated the instruction sheet, so make sure you read it. Okay. I added an instruction because of what's happening. Yesterday, I told you guys to upload it to what? What did I tell you to do with your video? To upload it to YouTube. I told you all you would have to upload it to YouTube and then put the link in your final presentation, right? I'm changing that, okay? And I and number three right here, I told you, when you're done with your video, save it to your desktop. See where it says File Save, okay? And upload it to Google Drive. So I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? Let's say I'm in my Google Drive, okay, and I go new, file upload, and I'm going to go find my video, okay. Here it is right here, sample video. I double click it and I upload it, okay. Now here it is in Google Drive. Now, in order to see it, you're going to have to change the rights, okay. You're going to have to right click on it or two finger click on it and go to get shareable link and click on sharing settings right down here. After that, you don't have to do anything and make any changes. All you have to do is click done, and that's it, okay? Now, watch what happens when we... Now, I'm going to go into my final project, like submitting it. When you open the project sheet, this is the last thing I'll show you, and I'll let you get to work. When you open the project sheet, this is your final part five, final presentation. Look what it says. Click here to open and copy the template. You should not be making your own brand new Google Slideshow. You should be clicking here, and then it'll tell you to what? Make a copy. Just click on Make a Copy, and it'll open it up, ready for you to work on. Okay. 
It's working a little slow right now, but it'll open up ready for you to work on. And each slide tells you exactly what should be on it. Okay, this slideshow is all that you will be uh, submitting in Canvas. All right, all right, here it comes, acting slow. But I want to come down to, don't forget that on the planning your meal, you have to include uh, pictures of your food, okay? But I want to come down to the video one to show you. Remember we just uploaded our video to our Google Drive? And then we went and made sure that people can see it, right? Now it's simple. We just go insert, what? Video. video. And now it says from where? Well, from where? Google. From our Google Drive. And you'll see it there after this finishes loading. You'll see it right there. Just double click on it. Now instead of a link, the actual video is in your presentation. Okay, So I don't have to click on a link when I'm grading your stuff. I don't have to click on a link to open a new window to go see your video. It's actually there right on the slide ready for me to click play. Okay, I think that's all I have to show you for now. Um,